Now, when it comes to wireless mic systems, I've been using this right here, the DJI mic, since it came out about 10 months ago. And if you guys haven't seen my full review of this DJI mic, I'll leave the link above as well as down below. I go through a bunch of samples, a lot of tests in that video, so make sure you guys check that out. Now, I am making this updated video because they did add in a couple more features on this mic, and these are a couple of features that I kind of complained about in my initial review. Now, in that video, I did say at the very end, oh, it'll be great if DJI improved the mic by doing a couple things and they have finally added them to the mic system now. So let's talk about those updated features and why it's super important for you to update the firmware on it if you are using the DJI mic. And for those that don't have this mic and are currently shopping around and looking for some options, right now DJI actually just recently released a single transmitter and receiver setup. Cause when they first released it, this is what they came out with, which I still recommend because you get two mics and a receiver. You also get this charging case uh, a couple adapters here, but it all comes in this nice setup here with uh, two microphone setups, but they now recently released a more affordable version. For only $219, you can get now one transmitter and one receiver. Uh, it, it does not come with the case and it doesn't come with the second one. So you'll get these two right here, as well as the USB accessories for the receiver. But it's really good to start out with because if you are a content creator, you guys know how important audio is and having a wireless system like this makes it super simple for you to hook this up to either your phone or your existing camera. So price-wise for the dual mic system, it's 329 and if you go with a single mic system, 219. All right, so let's jump right into the firmware updates and I'll make sure that firmware update info as far as what the number is, I'll leave that down below. And if you guys already have the mic, I will go through a little bit about how to uh, do the update on the mic system towards the end of this video. So the first thing I did mention in my review video were these right here, these lights on the top. As you can see, it's pretty bright. It has a bright green light, which means it's powered on. And then if you are recording, because you can actually use this mic as a standalone recorder, when you hit record here, you now see a red light. So you have a green and a red light when it's recording to the mic, and it's also green when it's on. Now having these indicators are really good, but if you are on the go and you are trying to record and have this thing hooked up to something like your shirt, Sometimes you might put this onto your talent. Ideally, you wanna hide it as much as possible, but for me, I normally do run and gun types of videos, so I just normally will put it on a magnet, stick it to my shirt, that way you get some crispy audio if I'm away from my camera. I've actually used this a bunch of times in corporate settings, and I, it's not ideal because you wanna hide it, but at the same time, like I said, you just want audio, and you might resort to just having this on your talent. But the thing is, you can see these really bright lights here on the very top. One thing I did suggest to DJI even before when it first released was it'd be nice if you could just turn those lights off so it doesn't bring attention to them. And now you're able to do that with this firmware update. So I'm currently recording and the power of the mic is on. And now that I did the update, all you have to do is swipe down on your receiver, go all the way over to transmitter setting, click on that and swipe across and go to the very last one, it says LED brightness. Click on LED brightness. And right now we have three options. Before there was only a low and a high option, and now we do have the off option. So it is on, it's recording. If I go to low, you can now see the light go a little bit dimmer, which is still good. You can still see and have some sort of indication, but ideally you wanna turn them off. And now the lights completely turn off. That way you don't have your eyes drawn. Yeah, you have your eyes drawn to the mic, but you don't have it drawn to those two bright lights on the very top. Now, if you're wondering, am I still recording? If you actually look at your transmitter here and go back to the home setting, you can see that your bar is moving and you still have the red dot there that shows that I am recording on the portable mic or on the mic system itself. All right, the next update we'll talk about is this right here. As you can see, the red is on, which means it is recording to the actual microphone separately. So you'll have two separate tracks if you have this hooked up to your camera. You'll have this audio that's going straight to your camera, and then you're gonna have a separate track that's recorded directly to the microphone. What DJI did with a firmware update is now they disabled this record button, as you can see. So if I had this thing on my hip, or if I had this thing in my pocket, and I hit record, and you just really don't know if it's gonna be recording because you can accidentally rub against it, against the wall, against the table, and you could stop that recording on there. Now with the ability to disable it, if this was in your talent's pocket or on their hip, as you can see here, it is recording, and if I click it right there, 
it will not turn off. That way you have a little bit more confidence that if you are trying to record that separate audio track and it did bump something that it just doesn't automatically turn off and you just don't know. So as you can see, if I'm pressing that record button, the red light stays on because it'll continuously record. The only way you can actually stop the recording is if you long press the power button by basically turning off the mic entirely or you can actually turn it off here. As you can see, it is recording on my receiver. If I just swipe up, it'll say record right there. If I tap record, it now turns off and then the red light does turn off there. The next up that we do have is this one right here. If you swipe over one more in that same setting is auto record. Because auto record is off, right now it does not record. It's waiting for you to tell it to record or press that button on the side. So as you can see here, I powered it on or I powered it on from being off and it just turns the power on as you would expect. Now, if I were to turn auto record on, go to transmitter setting, auto record, turn that on. Now, if my microphone is currently off right here and I were to turn it on, power that on, it will now automatically turn on both. So it'll turn on the actual mic itself and start recording. Anytime you have that auto uh, record on, once you turn on the mic or once you take it out of the case, it'll automatically turn on and the record will start happening directly to the mic. Those were the few updates I wanted to talk about. I do think they are very big updates for something like this, a microphone system that you're gonna be using all the time when you're out there. I use it all the time when I go to all my shows, when I'm doing all my videos, you'll normally see this thing magnets to my chest, but having that backup recording and the options to turn things on and off, especially that light. I, that was the first thing I thought about was every time I put it on somebody, I don't wanna see that light just blinking in my video. So for those that have the DJI mic and you're curious about how to update it, it is actually pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is just navigate over to the DJI mic on their website and you'll see a tab for downloads. Once you're on that tab for downloads, scroll down, you'll see the most recent version. There's actually a firmware that just came out a few weeks ago. Make sure you download both the transmitter and the receiver for the DJI mic. Once you download those two bin files to your computer, all you do next is plug in USB-C to your computer and drag over that file to the root folder of the device. So if you're plugging in the transmitter here, all you do is take that transmitter bin file, drag it from your desktop onto the file, the hard drive that it makes on your desktop, drag that over, and then it'll upload to the microphone itself. Now as far as the receiver, same way. Go ahead and power that on, plug in USB here to your computer. Make sure you grab the receiver bin file from your downloads, drag that over to the receiver which is ideally mounted onto your desktop. That will then put it into the root folder of the receiver. Once that's done, eject it, and then you should see an updating file, or it should say updating on the very top of your receiver. Once the updating is all done, I normally just power it down, restart it, and if you are curious on if the microphones have been updated, you'll see it blinking red for a little bit, and then it'll turn green. Once it turns green, you'll know that the firmware has been updated. And if you wanted to confirm it, just plug everything back in, plug it into your, uh, case and then open it up and then go to your firmware on your receiver and you can see that the firmware matches the one that you just downloaded. Hopefully you guys got some value from this video and if you did a big like would be much appreciated. Make sure you guys do that firmware update if you guys are interested in picking this one up. The dual kit or the single kit I'll leave that information those links down below in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in more of these updates. This is Alter Nastasio with flypath.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.